Hi guys! Welcome to the seventh day of our fitness challenge. I'm very proud of you. You survived the six days of fitness. Now, the hardest part of your workout, plyo craziness. So let's begin. All right, so the first exercise of our plyo craziness is the box jump with a squat. So you're gonna need a box or some kind of elevation or anything you can jump on. So you're gonna have your sh legs shoulder width apart, you're gonna squat down and you're gonna jump on the box and squat on the top. Then you're gonna jump back down or you can stop back down. So just jump, squat, and you can step back. Either way works. If you wanna make it easier, we can eliminate the jumps. So you're just gonna step with your right leg, squat, step down with your right leg, then step up with your left leg, squat, and step down with your left leg. If you want to make it harder, just make the box higher or grab the weights and hold them here as you're jumping. Great. Second exercise is the lateral push-up. So that's going to be hard. You're going to place one arm on the floor, another one goes on the bench. You're going to perform this push-up and then jump and switch to the other side. So let me show you how it's going to look. So here I am in a push-up position. I'm doing push-up, jumping, switching. To make it easier, you're going to place your knees down, you're going to do a push-up, even skip the jumping part. Alternate your arms, go to the other side. Try to keep your back flat. Good. And to make it harder, all what you need to do, just do more or have a higher bench. All right, the last part of our workout is the lateral lunge, plyometric lunge. So, we're going to start one side. I'm going to squat down, keep your arms up, and jump to the other side, squatting again. So that's all what we're doing. Squat, stand up, jump. To make it easier, we can eliminate the jump. So you're going to step wide, squat, step, squat, step, squat. And to make it harder for those who like to challenge themselves, you're going to increase the distance of the jump. So it's going to look something like this. Make sure you keep your weight on your heels and don't let your knees pass your toes. All right, each exercise will be done 12 times, so let's begin. Hi guys, I am very happy to see you. If you're watching this video, you successfully completed our seven days of fitness challenge. I'm so proud of you. Now on the eighth day, please join us for Cycle for Good, a charity event where all the JCC across North America will be cycling together. This year, we are raising money to Sustainable Food Center. Please join us and enjoy. Thank you.